Welcome to Japan and More, where we answer your questions about traveling Japan. Today's question is, what do I do with my garbage in Japan? Well, this is something that everyone who travels Japan notices pretty much instantly because there are a lack of garbage cans. So today we're going to talk about the absence of trash cans, the sorting system, where to find trash cans, and how to dispose of trash responsibly. Okay, so first, let's talk about the absence of trash cans. Since the late 90s, early 2000s, there was a push to start removing trash cans from train stations, subway stations, and public streets. There are now signs telling you to carry your trash with you. In Japan, a lot of people have a portable trash bag, maybe a plastic bag or even a cloth bag, where they carry with them in their purse or their bag, and they will put any trash that they accumulate during the day into that bag. And then they will just、uh, dispose of it later when they find a trash can.、Um, incredibly, without having the trash cans, you'll notice that the streets are really clean and there's really not that much trash anywhere.、Uh, and this might stem from when they're children, kids in school, in elementary school, in junior high school, they actually clean the schools themselves. There are no janitors in Japanese schools. So, the kids get down on their hands and knees and they scrub the floors and they clean the toilets and they're taught to clean up after themselves and to not make a mess. Next, let's talk about the sorting system. Trash is divided into different types.、Uh, you'll see this in train stations, you'll see it at the airport, and you'll even see it inside people's homes. The trash cans and the public places are usually labeled with very clear symbols and they're also color coded sometimes to assist you. There's three primary different types of trash there's burnable, there's non burnable, and then there's recyclables. And then the recyclables themselves are even divided into categories beyond that to plastic bottles, which in Japan they call PET bottles, P E T. There's aluminum cans. Glass bottles and then paper products like newspapers and magazines. So, when you're traveling and you see a trash can in a subway or platform on the JR lines, you should try to throw your trash away in the appropriate cans. You need to keep in mind that not all cans and containers are necessarily for trash. The recycling bins next to vending machines are also not just general trash cans. They are specifically there for the PET bottles, glass bottles, and aluminum cans that come out of the vending machine. Just keep in mind that they take trash very seriously in Japan and that you should try to sort it out as you're throwing your trash away and think about where it goes. Where can you find trash cans? Well, believe it or not, there are trash cans where you can dispose of your trash properly. <laughs>、uh, first of all, when you're at a shop and you buy some food or drink, You should actually consume it at the shop. This serves a couple of purposes because you're able to throw away the cups or the plates, napkins, whatever you are using at the trash can at the shop. They don't really want you to walk and eat、uh, because the streets are so crowded, especially the sightseeing areas, that、uh, they don't really want ice cream all over the sidewalks or even if you bump into somebody in front of you, you know, if they stop abruptly. And your ice cream goes into their back or rolls off、um, and hits somebody in the shoulder or something. So, just to avoid that. And then also, the most important is the trash so that you're able to dispose of your trash properly. You can just throw it away at the shop where you buy it. This is really important when it comes to things like Starbucks cups. I know in America we have a culture of getting our coffee to go. And then kind of just drinking it on the way. But something you got to think about is where are you going to throw away that Starbucks cup when you finish the coffee?、Uh, because there's really not going to be any trash can for you to throw it away. So you're either going to have to carry it around all day,、uh, put it in your little plastic bag, and put it in your backpack or your purse, and wait until you find a trash can. Other places where you can find them are convenience stores. Although they are starting to get a little bit more strict,、uh, they have moved most of the trash cans inside the convenience stores. So you do have to go inside and、uh, get stared down while you're disposing of your trash. Better places to dispose of your trash are in the JR train stations. 
Most of the stations all have trash cans that are clearly labeled, including the bullet trains. So that's a good place to get rid of your trash, as long as you're making sure that you're putting it into the correct bin. Always you can dispose of your trash at your home if you live in Japan or in your hotel room or Airbnb. When we get back to the hotel room at the end of our tours each (laughs) night, I just unload all of my trash into the trash can there. (laughs) So how do you dispose of this trash responsibly? When I go to a convenience store, I buy something and I go ahead and I pay the yen or two yen for a plastic bag. And that becomes my trash bag for the day. And then I put all of my trash in that. And then when I see a trash can, I just go ahead and I empty out my trash bag and I put it back in my backpack and I keep it to collect trash as the day goes on. And like I said before, just remember to respect the recycling system and the labeled trash cans. Don't just throw trash into any hole that you see, (laughs) because first of all, it might not be a trash can. And second of all, it might be for a different kind of trash. So it really looks poorly on us tourists when uh, Japanese people see us throwing the trash in the wrong bins. So make a conscious effort to look at the trash cans, see what kind of trash you're supposed to throw away in that bin, and then use the trash cans appropriately. The the trash can next to the vending machines in particular just has a little round hole that's supposed to be for bottles and cans. And it looks very attractive for a Starbucks cup. Right. They are not for Starbucks cups. Yeah, not for a Starbucks cup. (laughs) And also the trash cans in the restrooms, they're often quite small. And people will throw away all of their trash in the trash cans in the restrooms. And then they start to overflow and it makes the restrooms dirty. And I've noticed lately that there's actually a lot of signs in the restroom saying to uh, not throw your trash away in the restroom. So that's not really the place where you're supposed to throw away trash. The trash can in the restroom is meant to be only for restroom type trash. It's important to just remember that you are a guest in Japan. Please just respect Japan's customs and rules. And that includes all the way down to the trash systems that they have. And even if you do make a mistake, um, you know, don't worry about it so much. Just It's more about the effort and the fact that you're trying to understand. And if you really don't understand, you can even ask somebody and they would probably uh, appreciate the fact that you're trying to understand the trash system and their culture. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And tell us your questions about traveling Japan in the comments section below. We might answer it in the next episode. And for more information about traveling Japan, check us out on japanandmore.com. And if you like this video, please smash the subscribe button.